All right, so we're taking care of Alaric this time. Show you my mastery points and uh, the fact we are doing sick micro on missed opportunities. Uh, something I learned from my last game with Alarak is Alarak gets affected by the um, infestations. Yeah, maybe the long range wraith blockers might help. Um, the problem is, is yes, the wraith blockers have super long range, and I can keep microing them backwards. Um, I still feel like the Ascendants have a longer range with the extra orb power that you can get. And, um, you know, it, it all depends on, again, the unit composition, of course. But if the units that are attacking my Wraith Walkers have short range, they're just going to keep coming after my Wraith Walkers until they get there. And then, you know, Wraith Walkers are not a unit that I'd want to lose. So we'll have to see. I still want to go for Ascendants. But um, I'm going to change up a couple things about how I would normally do it. Not the best for my sanity. <laughs> it's not. In case you are real, someone out there has been messing with my harvesting bots. Would you mind keeping an eye on them for me? The Corona Boost Online. Our structure should now operate at a greater efficiency. Ascendenta. Uh, I'm still my timings. A little bit talking. Alright, we'll be alright. So now I really want to take some time and uh, get some gases going. Pylon here. Our foe is making their move. We must be ready. Tearing it up, yo. Looks like a geyser's about to become active. One of my bots will depart for it shortly. Is he going to Karax? Oh, he's going to Karax. This is going to be nice. They should be quite a bit better, actually. So I only want Karax um, until I get out the right amount of uh, Ascendants. Now that's just going to be here. Look out, commanders. I am detecting enemy movement toward the box. Oh, your warriors seek the enemy's blood. Oh, I was infected. Gotta keep him away. So it'll be really nice to have um, static defense in front of Alarak. It's scared, so you should keep it company.
Because then my ascendants can do all the microing they need and not have to worry too much. That going now. I just need to get more here. geysers are on the way. One of you guys and make some pylons that won't fail. And the thing is, too, you actually don't even need to worry about um, <laughs> my bots really want to get to the terrazine. Oh, they're kind of impatient, so got a couple things got to set up first. to attack my bots. Don't, don't, don't let them do that. Yeah, the only thing I really need to make sure to do is just keep, um, is ready for you. that's good. Get these guys going. Yeah, I think the biggest thing you can do right now for this week is, um, the enemy's blood. Ascendants are, are for sure a really good thing. And just make sure you keep things away from your ascendants. And then the other thing you're gonna need. Upgrade complete. And like again, having all of the static defense is so good for me. Bots are making the return trip now. Don't let them get away from you. Oh, but what I was going to say earlier, I remember now, you don't need to get anything that increases shields. Because, um, yes, it's nice to have it, but i got to tell you, half the time, what you're going to be dealing with... I have detected an incoming enemy attack. They are moving swiftly. ...is the fact that um, you're still... Hey, uh, <clears throat> great job, commanders. My bots are safe and sound. Do you do this sort of thing often? It's going to take more terrazine than that to finish my uh, research. <laughs> That's right. So I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to uh, start clearing out the, uh, the next area. Seismic activity detected. That can only mean one thing. And I'm going to use my, uh, my call down, Seth Fleet. Please to take care of this one. And then my ascendants will take care of the this one. From Belshire's fauna. Commanders, try to free it if you can. The Belshir Glider's Terrazine won't last forever. If you want to save it, you'll have to do it before it's completely drained. Oh, your warriors see the enemy's blood. Thank you. so fast. Daddy loves you! I see you, enemy scum! They're going to attack my boss, commanders. So I'm just going to hang out here, deal with this. I'm just going to keep these guys ahead so that I don't have to uh, worry too much about things that are coming after us. Come on. 
It's actually been really nice that the enemy forces are sending all these range units. Relying on me. Dead commanders, it's now or never. Literally, oh, you can choose either one. Thank God that guy wasn't uh, plagued up. <laughs> My thoughts have returned. Looks like I won the bet this time, Bell Shear. All right, so I'm gonna do the, oh, the deck. Is gone. Ooh, so how do I do this? What a tragedy! Just like my career. All right, so I need to deal with this wave that's coming. And then. Still alive. Okay, good. Well, commanders, bots. Oh, those are mine. <laughs> no, nope, you're gonna die. Shit. I noticed that too late. God damn it. I noticed that like two seconds too late. And now all of my ascendants are going to die. How freaking amazing. Ah, oh, shit. And now it's over. God damn it. This is so frustrating. I noticed that one ascended two seconds too late, and now everything's fine. Yeah, honestly, the mineral line is the worst thing you can deal with right now. It's getting anything in your mineral line, and it's over. You are done with the mutation. Good shot, good try, but now it's over. Let's use this here. I feel like I almost had enough. I almost was able to make pull this through. But now it's just like I don't know what to do. In a cave with the box of scraps. So I'd appreciate it if they came back intact. Like honestly, like I'm very confused now as to what I think the best thing for me to do at this point is gonna be. We will require detectors. Some hostile forces headed for my bots. They must really want that terrazine. Oh, your warriors seek the enemy's blood. Although, I, I guess with the Chrono Surge, or not the, the uh, Purifying, or what the heck do they call it? Uh, repair Beam. That I might have been able to get away with a little bit more. I'm just gonna try to slowly build up the forces here. See if maybe I can get back to some form of um, actual safety. Good morning, commanders. The enemy's eating my bots for breakfast. Your allies Your have entered under assault. assault. You. The commanders will protect you. Is under assault without you. All right, let's go see if I can do something with this. Your allies have entered your next without under assault. An enemy 
attack moves towards our base. Oh, most unwise. Chrono boost activated. Our structure should research and create units much more quickly. Yep. I swear, that was it. I mean, I think we'll still be okay. I mean, we're not going to be like super awesome or anything, but we'll be okay, I think. Ooh, my bots are back. That means it's tea time. The tea is for terrorism. Enemy forces have converged on my bots. Everybody get in there. Your allies have entered combat without you. Your allies have entered combat without the enemy's blood. <sighs> I think I can slowly get back. I don't need a lot of Ascendants. That's the only kind of constellation about this whole thing. Is I don't need a ton of Ascendants to do what I want. Um, but I need some. <laughs> I, missed you so much. I need to have some. Alright, so let's go ahead and use this to clear all of this. <laughs> Looks like they've trapped another Belshir glider. You know what to do, or not do, commanders. So I'm not saying you have to, but if you want to, free that Belshir glider I mentioned. All right, so we're we're working, we're working, we're making it happen. These should be the last of the geysers. <laughs> Things are just getting interesting. Your warriors seek the enemy's blood. I just love how the, uh, the uh, Ascendants <laughs> can kill the Supplicants before they even get on the screen. I love that. That's so awesome. I, I think the bots are telling me they're rolling out, but you know, I could be wrong. <laughs> They've lied to me before. <laughs> Those little miscreants. <laughs> they're coming after my bots. Who stopped them, Commanders? All right, so you just get to say right in the middle here. Your allies have entered combat without you. I am activating Chrono Boost now. That should greatly increase the output of our structures. My bots are under attack! My bots are under attack! It all comes out the same uh, thing. Yep. No one's By my calculations, okay. the Belshire glider is going to die soon. You don't have much time left to save it. Reliability. Allies have entered combat without you. All right, so I think we got to the point now where we might be able to maintain. Your warriors seek the enemy's blood. Wow, you really just let that thing die? And I thought I knew you. What's made to last forever and being destroyed? My bots, of course! Okay, the bots should be on their way back. Mm. I need that Terrazine commander for my <clears throat> experiments. Alright, so I think we've got I think we've got it. We haven't lost a bot yet, which is nice. Alright, so that's the biggest thing. Don't even worry about Alarak when you play this. Alright, 
So that's the biggest thing with Alarak for this week. Ascendance, um, just to keep your forces away, micro them like crazy. Use the fact that you have a really, really long range when it comes to... Um, Use the fact that you have such a huge range when it comes to the little wall thing that they do. Uh, and when you, um, you're going to lose Ascendance, unfortunately. You're going to look away for a second, and you might come back to find all of your Ascendance. Just stay calm, rebuild. Stay calm and rebuild. That's the biggest thing. Um... Other than that, there's really not much else, much else you could do. Again, I didn't even bring Alarak out there because he just gets infested so fast. Or, yeah, infested. Infected, sorry. It's really almost not worth it. Uh, but when you do lose Ascendance, make sure you take the time to not do anything. Because you don't want to be microing units while you're trying to build because every time you micro, you lose out on minerals. Um, so that worked out for Alarak. That was actually pretty good. I felt pretty good about that whole thing at the end. Um, it also helped to have the Karax. Uh, I guess you saw there wasn't a ton of things going on in regards to how much static defense he had, but it was enough to just give time and him to just spam a lot of uh, Spear of a Doom energy. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm Hunter AFI.